Every trekker needs topping up with regular food and a hot cup of tea when out in the wild, but for most of us in frequent campers, a little gas stove will suffice. But I won't deny that nothing beats a real fire for a focal point around a cosy campfire. Portable log burners are a neat and easy way to get around the petty restrictions in place to protect us from the idiots. But armed with one of these, you can stand in line with the bunny huggers as well. Of course, being landed people with spare time and around to it, many of us could fashion a perfectly decent log burner for an old gas cylinder. There are plenty of ideas on YouTube. So what could you expect to spend on such a facility? We spend the weekend with two stoves made by Ainway in Cornwall. The Traveller stove, which for the basic product costs £375, and their much-loved Frontier stove, which starts at £150. The Traveller is a pretty posh setup, a mini version of a log burner you might see in a country sitting room, but with some design extras to make it into a decent stove. You can even order it with a range of colours if your standards of glamping calls for colour coordination. You can spend as much as £500 on the Traveller, but for that you get the drop-on hot plates for the sides, the safety tray, full 4-inch flue for the flashing kit so you can install the chimney through the tent or cabin roof, while the safety tray protects your Persian rug. The more muscular construction not only makes for a more aesthetically pleasing stove, it also means that you can burn coal and stay cosy in your ute well into the next ice age. On the other side of the design, the Frontier gives away its origins as a humanitarian aid product. The Frontier stove entered service as a lifesaver product, designed to be used in disaster zones, and it can still be seen in operation around the globe, and at Land Rover shows, of course. The Frontier stove is more cooker than heater, but neither role is significantly compromised by the ingenious design, which allows the entire thing to be packed within itself and then into a bag. They will sell you a decent bag for the stove for an extra £20. Bagged up, the kit weighs a little over £20, and takes less space than a large tent, all compact enough to be always on hand. Portability means using much lighter materials, but as with a bigger stove, safety first seems to be inherent in the design. The legs slot and pin into place and are splayed to give a steady work surface all at a reasonably safe height. Sure, it's a small firebox to accept small sticks and twigs, but it's easy to light and not too greedy to feed, with the sort of material you'll find lying around on the woodland floor. The manufacturers claim, and we have no argument with it, that the Frontier stove is ten times more efficient than an open fire, and of course the smoke is carried well clear of the fire itself. The flue, with extra cash, can reach seven feet or so, and as with the Traveller, you can spend a little extra more and install the stove in your tent or hut. But the clear advantage of the Frontier is its portability. That and the kettle. I confess that when we unpack the stove and completely ignore the instructions on how to properly cure the paint before use, I thought the 90 pound kettle was a bit of a joke, but not at all. It proved to be extremely useful. There was always hot water for the washing up or making tea, and for me, proved to be the most delightful feature of all. The Frontier demands a little more maintenance. The narrow flue will need regular checking and cleaning, and it won't love you for being left to rust. But for £240 with the kettle, it's money well spent, and a gift that will last her for years. Both products are available now from Anive at anive.co.uk or by clicking the link below.